G'day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's probably been a while since I've done, done a demonstration. Hopefully you've seen some nice uh, showcases from our members at our club and you've enjoyed those as a nice um, break during this uh, issues we're going through with lockdowns and the COVID-19 so hopefully everyone's really getting a you know their bonsai fix as much as possible <clears throat> but now starts my um, my autumn work on my black pines so last year I remember I did some videos on on this and I did some close-ups and you guys got enough out of them or something out of them however you couldn't hear my voice very well so now this year I'm much better set up so I have um, a directional mic and We'll get to well hopefully you can hear what i say a bit better and we can go through the process of what i do now this is what i do um now i don't have hours and hours and hours and hours to spend on plucking with needle with them um, with tweezers every needle and making sure each each counting each how many needles on each uh branch etc i just don't have the time for that I, I just do it by eye and i pluck with my fingers so today's all about you do a butt selection and needle pluck butt selection needle pluck so if you follow the process in December in summer, we re we cut all the candles off the tree, all of them, and from that spot we should have got multiple buds coming out, three, five, four, two, one sometimes, um, but we get multiple buds usually. And now it's um, coming into autumn. Although today's quite a nice warm day <laughs> for for a change, um, but we're coming into autumn. It's mid mid April. Usually I start now or maybe around start start of May I usually start so it's only a couple of weeks out it's just that we've got this lockdown in place and it's Easter weekend and um, a long weekend for us and uh, I thought I'd get started on some of my trees maybe take a bit more time because I want to also today style this tree uh, this tree is featured in my videos before um, it's mainly mainly featured because of this big huge bend that I put into this branch um, I'm hoping you guys remember that I hope it's in the, can you see it in the shot just let me check that's all right you can, you can see that you can see this branch which is um I'll, I'll post the link to the video of where the work i did to bend this all the way around now you can see it's quite nice and healthy it's still growing it's still got multiple it's not as healthy and strong as the other two other two branches you can see these these are quite green this has got a little bit darker green and the shoots aren't as long it's still going still but it's probably slowed down a little bit because of the work i've done on it but it's green hasn't died off so today i'm going to treat this with a bit more care even though it's got multiple new buds in certain spots all i'm going to do is reduce them to two so in this what happens now is december happened we cut off all the candles um and from that spot from that one spot we cut off we cut that off from the one spot we've got maybe three four five coming up like this we're going to reduce down to cross two whichever way it works out it could be these two it could be those two whatever it's got to go back to two because next year those two will elongate and then December we cut them off again and from there you get another two and another two and that that grows out so that's what we're trying to do trying to create that and let's see how we go but today all I'm going to do this back one is I'm going to try and limit as much work as I can I'm not going to needle pluck as much I'm just going to take that third or fourth just come back to two come back to two buds on that the rest of the tree needs to be needs to be wide like this has to be wide this has to be wide I'm going to restyle it I'm going to probably push that in more and bring that down to start to create the there's an apex here there's a side branch here and then there's a lower branch here. i'm going to see what it looks like something like that because i really like this feature of deadwood here but i want to tell the story of this this tree got hammered and killed off or something on this side happened and it's been blown off this way and um you know things like that that's the story i want to tell and there's a cascade and a beautiful cascading branch down here which really is a nice tree on its own um and we've got this back branch that i've that i've done Put, put in place i thought i was going to cut it off but i thought i'd leave it and it left it and it survived so we're going to keep it and then we're going to work our way down and bend this all down okay but today's all about two things i'm going to do um i might chop the video into two because i think it'll be too long um so first we'll do we'll do the butt selection needle plucking and then i'll do part two on this and there'll be a uh, me styling it and then finishing it off so so that's what we're going to try and do cut cut multiples back to two so i'm going to try and reposition the camera so you can see a bit more close up of certain areas and we'll try and explain that okay all right let's see how this goes i'm nice and close in to this branch in here now i usually use my scissors so i'm just trying to show you hopefully we'll be able to show you i'll try and show you these two this this area in here hopefully it comes out 
so in this area I cut the candle cut the candle there yesterday I mean in December and I've got one long one and two smaller ones so there's three in one spot can't leave three I'm gonna cut the long one if I if I wire the branch like that you can see the long ones at the bottom we don't want that so we cut that off then I've got two in here now I don't think this needs to be needle plugged too much uh, sorry I got interrupted by the phone ringing um, but I cut I'll try and show you that again so there's three I'll cut the bottom one the longest one off leaving two okay a little, if you can at least do this then you'll be right now this one is a problem because I've got two here that are basically the same size but they're a bit longer and a small third one here so in this case if I'll wire it up unfortunately I'm gonna have to go with the two two longer ones and they'll stay now this is interesting because in this area there's too many needles so I'll pluck some of those even out the balance all they're doing with the needle plucking is even out I mean, evening out all the, the balance of the whole tree now if you can see here where we cut we've only got two very long elongated ones so unfortunately we just got to leave those but no choice but i'm going to needle pluck a lot more in this area because they're quite strong just to balance up that balance the amount of needles in this area and this area trying to balance them and make them the same okay hopefully you guys can still see let me just check yeah, you can still see that in picture. In this area, I've only got one here, which I'll just have to leave. I'll just needle pluck some of these, some of these older, older can, not all, but some, just to bring it back into balance. And I just do it by sight, as I said. Now in here, in here, there's two, so I've got to leave them. Just needle pluck some of these. And let's see, in here, there's three. Now I'll try and bring it around. So there's, a, there's just one there, but in here there's one, two, and a third one looks like on top. So what we're going to do, if we wide that down, we'll have one coming this way, one coming that way, and one on top. So we get rid of the top one. Okay, and that leaves two. And that'll elongate. And, and then in December we come back, cut, the, cut those candles off, and then from that spot we get another two. And that's how we build up the tree. So that's just that little bit done there. And you just go through it now and keep going through it. So I'll just do this lower branch here. Let's see what we got down here. There's only one here, unfortunately. So it just means I'm going to needle pluck some of these to balance out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can do. I do it with my fingers because it's quicker for me. I don't have the time to spin with tweezers. But professionals, they probably do have the time. Again, there's only one in here, so I'm going to have to needle pluck some of these just to balance. So next year, these will have to be cut again. And hopefully um, pushes back some buds as well. Again, what's this? This has got two, and this has got two. It's got a small one and a long one. Not much we can do. Got to keep them. Okay, so let's just keep them. Unfortunately, but we have to do that. So we'll keep them. I'm just plucking some of these cut needles. So we'll leave them alone. Let's have a look here. Hasn't done as well as I thought it would. It's only recently got it's only got a few. It's not like it's gone exploded. Maybe next year I'll put more feed into it in spring and hopefully we'll get some build up its energy so I can put it out more buds. Again, same problem here. Not just the one. This is just got two, so I'm only gonna I'm not gonna cut any, I'm just gonna cut, I'm just gonna needle pluck. Should balance out the energy. Let's see what this looks like. Again, only one. Hmm, interesting. So it didn't do as well down here as as, as I've seen up above up, up top. So I we'll have to close it and do close-ups up top later, and um, I'll show you the difference. Let's see how we go. Again, same same thing. Only one. So it hasn't, as I said, hasn't done that well down this lower one. This one has got the two. That's all it's got. So. I'm just going to needle pluck. There's a lot here, so I can remove a lot more. Same, same. Well, it's all the same. And this one's yeah. So not not much luck here in terms of multiple buds, which is interesting. Um, but we'll just needle pluck. We'll just leave 
there's ones or twos at the moment that's all we're really finding down here so i might spare my um, pick up my feeding list tree uh, in in spring next year because i want very give a lot of energy a lot of a lot of food and um it builds up its energy so then we cut the candles it's got all this energy and then we'll just push out lots of buds when we cut those candles so one thing maybe next year i'll do well not next year but later this year in spring in our spring again there's only two there only two there so all right so that's just this one done it's cleaned up a lot so you can probably hopefully see it's cleaned up but they're quite long still they've got to be made smaller and smaller so I'm going to go through the tree around here. If I find it, when I get up to here, I'll probably do a close up so you can see up the high at the top a bit more about it. So let me just go through it and we'll come back. All right, so I'm at the top. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is actually when I do this, because I showed you down here, I want to show you this one. You actually work from top down because the more you pluck and it drops down into this one, there'll be all needles left and all candles left down in here and buds. So Best actually start from the top and work your way down. I was just trying to show you an example. So let's get stuck into here. Hopefully we can see a bit better results. Um, first one, first one is, it's got one elongation here and a small one, it's only two. It's got two here. So it's actually just kind of doing two at a time, which is unusual. Anyway, I think next year, I'll just, as I said, I'll feed it extra in spring and hopefully, hopefully that encourages more bunny which isn't too bad i mean it's okay to have two but because they you notice how they're uneven one's really long one's really short if you have multiple they're going to be smaller so that's that's the thought that's the thinking this has only got one you can see one big one in here and a very small one at the base so it's just a little pluck there see there's a pluck all the, the candles are falling down um, let's have a look in here he's got three one, two, and then the third one on top. So let's just keep the even ones and cut the little one off. A little plug around in here. Kind of balance it. Let's have a look in here. He's got three. This is a good example, okay? So I've got one, two, three, and if I, I pretend I'm going to wire it, let's say I'm going to wire and twist it like this. So these are the two bottom ones, so they're kind of even. This will be on top, so come in. And take that off all right so i do get interrupted once in a while um let's get back into it uh, where was i so that was the good example did i show you that no not that one i was showing you one hang on so oh, i can't remember where it was but anyway let's let's go again one two the same and one little one on top unfortunately if there's two small ones would have been better but we'll cut back to two so one and two um what this look like i've done that one i think yeah that's two and that's one unfortunately that's one long one um let's see what's on this side the needle plucks um what this look like no unfortunately there's only two there again let's reduce some of this take more so see so how there's one bit long and one a bit smaller it is what it is can't do much about it see what's on the inside okay this one on the inside is a good example there's one two and three and now let me have a look let's see where we're gonna if we're gonna use it where we're gonna position it so let's and then before we so if we use it we'll probably position it like that one two and cut the middle top one off okay hope you got the idea hope that's come up clear I might just come in and do a real close-up of an area and I'll show you how it really looks really close. Alright, so this is going to show you a very good example of what normally happens. So you, you can see I've cut the middle one off, cut it off there, the old scar, there. And now I've got one, two, three, four. Can you see the four? So there's four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to cut back to two. Now, if I put this and wire it down, there's one in the middle that's quite long, and then there's one up here that's quite high. So usually, you cut off the one that dips down, the one that's high, and leave the two sides. So if we do that, cut the one on the top, one down the bottom, 
I'll fix those cuts up. And now we're left with two. Do you see that? And then I'll just needle pluck around here to balance off all the needles. I'll clean all that work up. That's a very good example. There was four in that spot and go back to two. Hope that clears things up. I'm just going to see if there's there's a there's one here that's a three. Um, so there's three. Oops, one, one, two, three. So we're going to do that as well. So we decide, okay, we're going to wire this down. I'll cut the top one off, which is unfortunately the small one that keeps the other two balanced. Oops. Sorry, it's a bit crazy, but it's hard to do with one hand. So we've got two there. All right, I'm just going to go keep going throughout the whole tree, and then I'll be done with the butt selection and needle plucking. All right, so it's a pretty reasonably quick process. I finished uh, butt selection, as you saw, and needle plucking as much as I can. Okay, some of the... I'm pretty much done with that bit, so I want to restyle the tree, but I'll do that in another part, um, part two of this. Um, one couple takeaways, okay, get the bud selection right first. Don't worry about the needle plucking if you don't understand that bit. Let's just make sure you do the bud selection, that's critical. Cut back to two, cut back to two, that's the most important thing. So, if that's one lesson to take away, that's, you got to do it for black pines, especially if they're on farmer stage, which this tree is starting to get to. Start from the top and work your way down just because of the mess it makes. Um, and needle pluck, just imagine a branch. Don't have to think about it too hard. Just imagine each little area is about the same needles as other areas. That's that's how I just think of it. If some areas don't have that many, then don't take them off. If some areas have a lot, then pluck them off. Pluck more off. Does, that's really all I'm trying to get to. Um, Otherwise, counting how many candles, 10 pairs, that are just, it's too much. Um, but just, that's my thinking. If you want to keep it simple, um, let's do it that way. So, now the exciting part stairs comes up with the, the styling of the tree, which is always fun. Um, yeah, we'll um, get to that in part two. So, But today's all about bud selection and needle plucking. Hopefully, that's your autumn work to do on black pines that are in refinement stage, not in development stage. So this is not in development. I'm not trying to grow massive branches or massive trunks anymore. Trunk set, the branches are set-ish. Um, now it's just trying to get all those buds and more buds and more buds and more buds and, and style the tree accordingly. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for part two. See you guys next time.